Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the MVPs of Stranger Things Season 3. There's a lot. Um, mainly, honestly, some of the MVPs in this season are not ones that I expected. And I am in so much in love with some of these characters now that I just need to gush about them. And that is basically what this video is. So without further ado, let's talk about my most valuable players, my favorite characters of Stranger Things season three. And before I get into it, just like a little honorable mention for my favorite character, Will Byers, because I love you, even though you weren't an MVP, you weren't on my list, um, but you still had an adorable season and I love you, Will Byers. Okay, so the main MVP, I think this season is Max. Okay, so <laughs> did any of you guys like absolutely fall head over heels for Max Mayfield this season. I loved her after season two. I actually dressed up as her for Stranger Con. She is just such an adorable, like snarky, amazing character. And I love her. And Sadie Sink does a phenomenal job with her acting and with bringing the character to life. But Max truly had a killer season from everything that she did in terms of helping Elle realize her independence and just who she was outside of Mike and Hopper she, to all that happened with Billy, she just was absolutely stunning. And she led the charge, she was strong, she was a strong, powerful woman, and she did so good. And every time she was on screen, she completely just stole the show from me. I absolutely loved her. I thought she was just phenomenal and she was great. So Max Mayfield did an amazing job. Her scene with Billy was like incredible and just, ah, uh, yes. Yes to Max. The writers did an amazing job with her this season and I would love to, I would love to see more about her and Lucas's relationship because it sounds like so much fun. Okay. The second MVP I have this season is Nancy Wheeler. Another strong, powerful woman this season. No, this list is not all women, I promise. Okay, she just absolutely killed it. And from the beginning, when she was trying so hard to prove people wrong, and then her conversation with Karen, and the way she kind of like led the charge with the kids, and the, the fact that she risked her life shooting at Billy, um, standing in front of the car, that was so, like, I was honestly so terrified for her, but that was so brave, and she, and every time she picks up a gun, she's just so phenomenal, and just Nancy Wheeler had a great season, and I absolutely loved her. I think, unfortunately, Jonathan kind of took a backseat to her, but she did great. Natalia Dyer did an amazing job, and just Nancy Wheeler was just so strong and powerful and awesome this season, and she was just so much fun to watch, and I absolutely loved it. Nancy Wheeler slayed. Okay, the next MVP that we have this season, and this is one of my favorite ones, is Alexi, aka Smirnoff, aka the Russian scientist that was with Joyce Hopper and Murray Bauman the whole season. He was a cinnamon roll. I absolutely loved him and if it wasn't for him we wouldn't have been able to kind of get a lot of the help for um hopper joyce and murray and it just would have been a completely new type of series but i think the inclusion of alexi was so cute and the death of him really symbolized like how brutal the Russians uh, in the season were the Soviets I, I should say because it wasn't technically Russia it was the Soviet Union but just Alexei was just so pure and amazing and I absolutely loved him and I know that you guys did too he was so pure and he did not deserve to die but he was so happy and just so cute and just like Alexei is amazing and he would be robbed to not get an MVP spot because he was just so helpful in terms of the plot and honestly, I loved him. So way to go, Alexi. You did great, sweetie. I love you. Okay, the next person is Murray Bauman. So did not expect this at all, but the, his Russian translations were key this season and he just was hilarious and also like, he serves as like the voice of the fans in terms of calling BS on the stupid 
bickering and random stuff that happens with all the relationships on the show. He got Jancy together, and now he's getting Jopper together, and it's just, it's just great. So, <laughs> he just, you know, he did some heavy lifting this season, and so Murray Bauman gets a spot on my MVP list. He did great. He was so likable. Way to go, Murray. Love you. Okay, next, Robin. Robin is just so amazing. Watching the season a second time, I just absolutely had nothing I didn't like about Robin. Every time she was on screen, she just made my heart go like a thousand miles an hour. She's so pure and funny and charming and witty and she's just so likable every time. Like she's just so likable and she's an incredible new addition to the cast. She's the first, um, not the first, Will is the first, but she's like the most outward, uh, first out LGBT representation on the show, and that was a phenomenal coming out scene. Also, way to go Steve Harrington for that, and she just is so pure, and, <laughs> and just her and Steve were a great duo. I absolutely loved her. She was great. She was great, and she cracked the code, and she's just so amazing. Okay, so Robin, another MVP this season. Another one, Dustin. Dustin also did a lot of heavy lifting this season with recording and intercepting the Russian code and then following that very, very cringy song, um, got the help of Susie to help unlock the door. He just was, he just had a great season, I guess. Like, he just had a great season. So way to go, Dustin. You did great, kid. The only thing I need from you is to go hang out with your friends again. But him and Steve, dynamic duo, and the Scoop Troop was phenomenal. Okay, honorable mention for Steve and Erica because they are kind of lumped in with Robin and Dustin in terms of being MVPs. But Steve is kind of always the MVP, and, <laughs> and so it just, the whole Scoop Troop, honestly, MVPs. Good job, children. Way to go. Okay. And the final MVP this season is Elle. Obviously, Elle had an amazing season, and I think her powers, she, she just, Millie Bobby Brown acted the heck out of this season. It was absolutely crazy. I, it would be such an, it, this show is full of actors not getting the awards recognition they deserve. It's probably going to ha happen to Dacre Montgomery in the same way it happened to Noah Schnapp not getting awards when they definitely should. And David Harbour and Millie Bobby Brown are always nominated, but they never win, and it's really frustrating, but Millie really should win for this season. I mean, she, although, actually, if she's going against Meryl Streep. Oh, wait, but Meryl would be a supporting character, and I'm talking about Big Little Lies, by the way. Anyway, we're talking about Elle. Elle had an amazing season. She obviously was getting very drained, and the brain damage was real, but she constantly got back up and she risked her life over and over and over again and like she got she was in a chokehold eyes going bloodshot face purple like bruised neck from billy trying to suffocate her but the second she saw mike getting attacked she stood up and like that girl is just so dang powerful and she she just she just slayed and then also like thinking she it's debatable whether job where whether Hopper is dead, but thinking she lost her dad like that is so sad, and I thought she fits. In, I think she fits in really well with the Byers family. So that's another thing. But obviously, Elle is an MVP this season. She was phenomenal. She was so powerful, and even though she got drained and injured and she wasn't able to kind of finish the job, she just did amazing. And her her talk with Billy at the end right before he died was just, it was just really sad. Okay, but L, another just MVP this season, as she is every season. Okay, so that is my list of MVPs for Stranger Things season three. Who do you guys think is an MVP this season? Who do you agree with? Who do you wanna add? Let me know. Obviously, I would kinda wanna add everyone to this list, but I won't because I wanted to keep it pretty short. But these characters, I think, just, specifically this season deserve a round of applause so <laughs> yeah 
Okay, so if you want to check out a lot more coverage of Stranger Things, be sure to check out my other videos. I have a what's next for Stranger Things after season three video. I have a spoiler and a non-spoiler review, and I am putting up theory videos. I am putting up a what you missed video, and I'm putting up and potentially it's already up video about answering the questions that you might have following Stranger Things season three. So there's a lot going on. And subscribe if you wanna see all of that coverage. Give this video a thumbs up if you like talking about Stranger Things and if you agree with my MVP list and comment down below again, all of your thoughts. Until the next video regarding Stranger Things, have a good day everyone, bye.